CS2 is going through a few growing pains to say the least, but yet again, I'm making another video on something that's just bonkers. You can literally, with a teammate, take flight pretty much anywhere on any map and get well above the walls and even all the way up to the skybox, pretty much anywhere and everywhere. It's a huge competitive advantage and something that's surely going to be fixed in the very near future. But how do you do it? Well, the very simple way to explain it is hopping into a game. All you need is a teammate or a bot and you can get going. Essentially, what you'll be doing is you'll be holding a key that pushes you into your teammate and you'll be jumping, trying to land on their knee over him. How does this happen? It's pretty difficult, but eventually you'll probably get to a spot where you're able to, while holding W the entire time, sort of raise yourself up and you'll notice a weird bump where if you were to move to the right, you'd sort of climb up and up and up and eventually stop. And at that point, you'll basically be flying straight up into the air where you'll stop at the skybox or vibrate near the skybox, depending on how low the skybox is or what kind of type it is, something along those lines. Anyways, when you get up there, if you stop at the skybox, you can let go of all of your keys and one of you can move where the other one will remain in the air. It's very difficult to get right, especially the bit where you push into a teammate if they're not AFK. And I've even had luck with using a friend to walk straight into me and walking straight into them. You'll find that if you're looking on one of the cardinal directions, whether it's north, west, south, east, then it's very easy to get stuck in each other. What I mean is, if you're approaching something face on, you'll usually stick to it and not move anywhere, holding W. If you're looking slightly to the side, you'll slowly slip and you'll know exactly how to face pretty much forwards and you'll stop dead in your tracks. But on objects that aren't exactly north, south, east, west facing, if we approach it from the side, you'll notice it's super easy to slip off it even if we don't think we should be. That way, when you're approaching teammates, do it straight from one of these directions on the map, north, east, south, west. West. It's pretty much a box. If you come from anywhere else, it'll be super easy to slide off them even though you're walking directly at them. With that out of the way, there's a few things to take note of. It's very difficult to get right as you need to be in the perfect position and sometimes you won't be the one who goes up. Instead, it'll be your teammate who gets lifted up to your left like such and they'll be basically controlling your flight. When you get it right, you'll sort of be hovering somewhere about here where you've moved up and eventually you're stomping here where if you were to hold D and W to push yourself towards your teammate and across to the side, you'll sort of take off and float up into the sky. When you're up there, you can control your descent by using control to bring yourself down. Letting go of control stops your descent and you can move up again. It's either holding W and D to move yourself all the way up to the top corner, then looking to your right ever so slightly in order to raise up or just holding those two keys I don't exactly remember but that's basically that you'll also notice that when you're approaching a teammate there's a small little bump that sort of takes you up and then back down this is a weird glitch that's not really the same there's sort of a weird arc or something around here that you can sometimes mount and climb on your teammates where it'll go up and back down this is sort of fruitless as you don't really get anything from this and usually it happens in one direction rather than another direction if you get it try using a different direction to see if things work properly. You'll know that it's correct where you're aligned properly and you'll start either going up to the right here or your teammate will start going up to the left. It's very weird, but when you have it, you definitely have it. And when you do notice that you sort of stick to a knee, whatever, you can pretty much let go of your keyboard except for holding W and then hit D to move yourself across to the right and you'll notice that you slowly raise into the air if you're piloting it and looking, say, this direction. If you're looking in the other direction and you feel the same thing, moving across to the right would instead push your teammate up and they'd be controlling your flight. It's difficult to explain but very simple to get if you manage to land on their knee or somewhere around in this direction. Getting it right is super difficult. As you can see in the clips, I pretty much only got my friend to help me as I just couldn't land it myself. It's usually somewhere about here. A great way to get to it is to jump up but instead of a straight jump up, you move across to the side while holding W. So I'm holding W here, pushing myself straight into the teammate, jumping and and sort of trying to find my way around here, doing a little circle jumps until eventually I land on a knee or something like that. Then you know that you're in the right spot and you can simply move to the right and travel up a little bit. It's very difficult to get right, but super game breaking. Here you can stick 
up in the sky, but you could maybe get up here, do some really strange peaks or things like that. You're up at the top here, shooting from the side, or even using a teammate as an elevator up here. There's tons of different gameplay advantages, and it's definitely something that will be fixed sometime in the future, but it just surprises me that this glitch has been around for about a week or two at this point and nothing's been done. It's super game breaking as you can take cover in places you usually wouldn't be able to, such as up here or even up here. We peek above the things. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, backside elevator. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Then we can watch a side. I can watch here, there, here. Ooh. Ooh. Roof. Ah. Nope. Let me have a look here. So I'm, I'm, I'm. Deep, 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 yeah. deep, Come out of Look like out. <laughs> nobody's here planting. Beep, beep, beep. Come out of here. I'm just like, I don't, I don't see anyone. Sight's clear. Sight's clear, boys. Nobody's here. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So it's directional based. What do you mean? Well, look. Every other time, look. You're facing this way, which means you control the flight now. See, it glitches when we oh. get up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I, if I look this way, you're the one. That then I'll control, yeah. That's why, see, that's why it got me under you. But here it glitches. Whoa, oh! whoa, 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 whoa. I, 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 turned, I turned to look in this direction. I, I, I turned to look in this <laughs> I let go of my keyboard. Yo, that, what a way to rush. <laughs> and nobody would even bother looking as it's just such a weird spot to come from or take cover in. And the worst part about it is that once you're up in the air, you've hit the skybox and you've stomped moving up and down, you can let go of all of your keys and your teammate can move to drop out of the sky, but you can simply stay up there without touching your keyboard at all and you can even crouch sometimes. But you have 100% accuracy as if you were standing on the ground. So here you can see things are going straight, but if I'm in the air, they go pretty much everywhere that's not straight. When you're glitched into the ceiling or the skybox, your aim is perfect. It's really, really game breaking and something that needs to be fixed. But then again, it's pretty much super easy to do in competitive games and is definitely going to be abused. So you'll need to start not only clearing your corners, but your roofs as well. Valve, please fix. Anyways, that's about it for this quick video. Hopefully you found it useful. Thank you for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.